Turn off the power switch before removing the bobbin. Gently slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover plate. Lift out the bobbin. Lift up the spool pin. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin. Attach the large spool holder and press it firmly against the spool of thread so that the spool rests on the supporter. The small spool holder is used with narrow or small spools of thread. Set the speed control slider at its fastest position for bobbin winding. Turn on the power switch. Draw the thread from the spool and pass the thread around the bobbin winding tension disc. Thread through the hole in the bobbin from the inside to the outside. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Push the bobbin to the right. The bobbin icon appears on the LCD display. With the free end of the thread held in your hand, start the machine. Stop the machine when it has wound a few layers and then cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Start the machine. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop spinning automatically. Then stop the machine. Return the bobbin winder to its original position by moving the spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin, cut the thread as shown. Turn off the power switch before inserting the bobbin and threading the bobbin holder. Place a bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Guide the thread into the first notch, A, on the front side of the bobbin holder. Draw the thread to the left, sliding it between the tension spring blades. Continue to draw the thread lightly until the thread slips into the second notch, B. Pull out about six inches of thread. Attach the hook cover plate. 